Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu InshaAllah uh, today uh, we'll talk about a few ayat from Surah Al-Araf The beginning of Surah Al-Araf in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Talks about the creation of uh, Adam alayhi salatu wa salam and uh, then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked uh, sh- uh, uh, commanded uh, malaika including shaitan also to bow down to Adam uh, and the story which was also mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah as well um, it is uh, from a different angle and that's what one of the things that we see sometimes we see uh, the, uh, the some of the stories are rep- seemingly rep- repeated in the Quran, but uh, uh, every time we find that it is showing some different angle to the story. Uh, and of course, uh, in this small period of time that we talk uh, in this uh, small talk about the ayat, we cannot go into too much of a detail, but inshallah, my, uh, my, I will try to uh, focus on just a couple of things in this story. Uh, in Surah Al-Araf uh, from ayah number 11, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ جُدُوا لِآدَمَا فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ لَمْ يَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ In this ayat al-Mubarak, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about that Allah is the one who created you, your father, Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, and then gave you the shape uh, the, the of human being and then we told the, the angels or commanded the angels to uh, bow down to Adam والسلام, and they all prostrated they all bow down uh, except the shaitan he refused to be the one who, uh, who prostrated now in this uh, I, uh, one of the things to pay attention to here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, not mentioning about only Adam al Islam. It says, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ Kum in Arabic is talking about in the, it's a, it's, it's a jama' form or it's in plural. So why is it talking about in the jama'? As the Mufassirin say, it is because it is talking about Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, but because Adam alayhi salam is the father of all the mankind, hence it is mentioned as خَلَقْنَاكُمْ uh, and then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the uh, the malaika uh, to bow down, it was it was to Adam alayhi salatu was salam. So the, the purpose of mentioning as uh, or nakum here or khalaqnakum is referring to Adam alayhi salam, but uh, in, a, in a sense of that he is the father of the whole mankind. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Adam uh, to, uh, to the malaika to, to, to prostrate to, the mala- uh, to Adam alayhi salam, uh, shaitan is the one who actually did not prostrate it and hence he was called Iblis or he was Ablasa, meaning he lost the hope of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of disobedience of uh, shaitan uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions قَالَ مَا مَنَعَكَ أَلَّا تَسْجُدَ إِذْ أَمْرَتُكَ قَالَ أَنَا خَيْرٌ مِنْ خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارٍ وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ طِينٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that what uh, he's asking the shaitan that what prevented you uh, from bowing down from uh, prostrating uh, when I commanded you so the response of the shaitan was that أَنَا خَيْرٌ مِنْ I am better than him uh, that you created me خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارِ from fire and you, uh, you created him from the teen and this is uh, teen means the clay now this is uh, his short-sightedness uh, of shaitan that he was just thinking of because he is created from fire hence he is better than Adam والسلام, who was created from clay now uh, this, of course, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives uh, the honor whoever he wishes to. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the honor uh, to uh, Adam alayhi salatu wasalam to be bowed down to. 
Uh, now and then uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, say, uh, says qala fahbit minha fama yakunu laka an tatakabbara fiha faqhruj innaka min as-sagirin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can manage get down from this paradise it is from this jannah it is not for you to be arrogant here get out for you are those of the humiliated and disgraced innaka min as-sagirin sagirin uh, talking about uh, uh, if you want to just literally translate it could refer to it as, as, as the small one but here sagirin is referring to more about disgrace or humiliation because of the actions that he did by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qala and uh, actually iblis said qala uh, anzirni ila yawm yub'athun that Iblis asked for shaitan, asked for uh, uh, some time. Allow me respite till the day that are raised up, the day of resurrection. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qala inna ka min al That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, You are the of those who are allowed to respite, the one who will allow to wait until the day of resurrection. Qala fa bima aghwaitani la aqudanna lahum surataka al mustaqim. That Iblis said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now, instead of accepting his mistake, as in the previous uh, part of the uh, the story, when uh, when he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa taala, he started giving excuses of his disobedience as if he is uh, uh, he has more knowledge than Allah subhanahu wa taala, because Allah is the one who asked him to uh, to, to bow down to uh, Adam, and uh, Allah is the one uh, should be should be obeyed. And shaitan started coming up with excuses. That coming up with excuses not to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Put a person in the category of thinking that he is aware of or he is more knowledgeable than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or he is he uh, 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 he can he can come up with conclusions, he can come up with the rules, he can come up with the regulations better than what Allah has given. And here Allah's command was for the shaitan to the uh, to but, uh, to prostrate to uh, to to Adam alayhi salam, and he thought of it that this uh, 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 this command of Allah subhanahu wa taala was not in the right place. Uh, uh, that made him iblis. That made him the one who was uh, deprived of the mercy from Allah subhanahu wa taala. And then after that, not only that, that he first thought of the command of Allah was not in the right place uh, but rather then he said that that the Aghbaitani, that you are the one who misguided me he is on top of it now he is uh, holding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accountable of his mistake and that's a very interesting point to think of and to remember and there are a couple of points that I like to make sure that we inshallah take from today's uh, uh, quick talk about the uh, these verses. Uh, so here, now he is assuring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first that you misguided me. Therefore, I will sit and in, in, uh, in wait against them, the human beings, on your straight path. Meaning, meaning that now you misguided me, hence I will misguide them. That's what shaitan was saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he will be sitting in the path of the human beings, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Adam alayhi salam, and not only Adam al but the children of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. And that kind of makes us also think about in the beginning of the verses when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was referring to لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ سَوْرْنَاكُمْ That we are the one created you and that we are the one who gave you the shape. Talking about Adam alayhi salam, but also Allah is the one who created us, the, the, the children of Adam, and the, he's the one who gave us the shape of a human being as well. So here, he, shaitan is promising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan is the one who is saying that this will be his job now. He will be in the path of the human beings to uh, misguide uh, the human beings. And then, <clears throat> and he says that, ثُمَّ لَا أَتِيَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ وَعَنْ أَيْمَانِهِمْ وَعَنْ شَمَائِلِهِمْ وَلَا تَجِدُوا أَكْثَرَهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ <coughs> then I, he said, I will come to them from before, uh, 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 from, 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 from front of them, from behind them, from the right side of them, from the left side of them. And, uh, uh, and he, said, he said to them, you will find that, that most of the people, you will find them, they will not be thankful. They, uh, they, they will not be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, told uh, uh, Iblis after that, قَالَ, قال خرج, مَنْهَا مَذْعُومًا مَذْحُورًا 
لمن تبعك منهم لا أم لأن جهنم منكم أجمعين. That Allah Subhanahu wa Taala get out of this uh, this Jannah, get out of this uh, paradise, this uh, being madhu ma madhura, being expelled, disgraced, and uh, uh, and whoever of them the, from the mankind, whoever will be the one who will follow you, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is promising that Allah will fill the Jahannam, uh, 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 Jahannam with the Shaitan and whoever follows the Shaitan. And uh, to that point, that uh, other places Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions that when Allah will be filling the the, the Jahannam with the, uh, uh, with the with the with the one who follow the Shaitan, uh, the Jahannam will Jahannam be Mazid. Uh, are there more? And the uh, Mufassirin uh, explain that that means that uh, it can be taken both ways. That uh, Jahannam will be amazed by the number of people who will be thrown into the hellfire. And other meaning is that uh, uh, Jahannam will, will still be needing more and more. It will be able to uh, take more if if needed. Uh, regardless, so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says here that Allah will fill the Jahannam with the ones who follow Shaitan and the Shaitan. And then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Ya Adam, Muskun anta wa Zawjik al Jannah fakula min hay. من حيث شئت ما ولا تقرب هذه شجرة فتكون من الظالمين. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told Adam عليه السلام to salam and his wife Hawa to be stay in the Jannah and uh, eat whatever you want except one of the trees which was a test for them not to go close to them. Now here, uh, as we discuss in the uh, Surah Al-Baqarah as well in the uh, in the past uh, and even here, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala continued on about the story and talks about that how Shaitan uh, misguided. Uh, Adam and Hawa and <clears throat> made them uh, uh, made them eat from that tree and uh, the, and they, they they became the one who have made the mistake the one uh, who who listened to the waswas of the shaitan here but there's a difference here what we see in in this incident they're talking about a mistake of the uh, uh, shaitan and iblis uh, that when he made the mistake right away he started first of all coming up with excuses of his mistakes and second then instead of accepting his mistake he started blaming Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mistakes and then here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the mistake of Adam and Hawa and let's see what the response of Adam and Hawa was of their mistake and as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says qala rabbana dhalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin that they, they said oh our rabb oh our uh, uh, lord we have wronged ourselves we have done the dhulm on ourselves our wa illam taghfir lana if you uh, if you forgive, if you don't forgive us, what uh, 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 and uh, bestowed mercy upon us, then we shall certainly be of the losers. So there's a huge difference that we can see in the response of Shaitan Iblis and the uh, response of Adam alayhi salam and the Hawa. In the case of the Shaitan, he tried to blame Allah subhanahu wa taala. He tried to come up with excuses of his mistakes. And in the case of Adam alayhi salatu salam and Hawa, we see that first of all, right away they. Uh, they recognize who is our Rabb. Then they also recognize their own mistakes. So they say Rabbana, and they say the lamna and fusana we made uh, the, the, the dhulm on ourselves. And then ask for forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Ask for mercy from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Understanding that if Allah is the one, do not forgive us. Allah is the one, do not. Uh, 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 have, have mercy on them. Then, uh, then we will become from the losers, from the khasirin. Now, what is the lesson that we can see from here? A couple of things to one of us point out. Number one thing that uh, Shaitan is uh, playing the very same tricks that he made the mistake with. That was his own mistakes. Number one, he became arrogant. He became proud. He, uh, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala was about was takbara, kana min kafirin, that he is the one who disobeyed Allah and became arrogant. And that, that this is where he's saying that talking about that he is better than uh, better than Adam alayhi salam, better than the, the, the mankind, and because he's created from fire and he's not, uh, and Adam is created from clay. Now we can see the very similarities today in the world as well, all over across the world where people are. The one race either thinks that they are better than the other, whether it's the white race thinks that they are better than the black, or the black thinks that they are better than the white, or brown, or yellow, or whatsoever this uh, permutation we can think of. All those uh, races, whether what language they speak or what place they are from, they start thinking of they are better than the other. While we know that uh, when it comes to who is better, it's the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that makes one better than the other. Now, that's one aspect of it. Second thing that we see, and, and this aspect is a very important aspect about this discrimination, about this racism that is destroying the world today. 
um, uh, and uh, and it's not necessarily about the race. It could be genders, uh, what's, whatsoever way you want to look at it. It's Allah is the one who is the judge among us. He is the one who knows uh, uh, who is the one who is honorable and who is the one who is not. But anyways, uh, moving forward, other aspect of that which is important here to, to just pay attention to is... Uh, the response of the shaitan about his mistake, he came, came up with excuses. And then uh, he uh, accused Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mistakes. And the one who are uh, who obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, talking about Adam al Islam and Hawa, they are the one who recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, rububiyyah, they recognize the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they accepted their mistake and they asked for forgiveness and uh, asked for mercy from Allah. Now, in today's world, we can see that, and this is what shaitan promised was, that he will go after the mankind from the front, from the back, from the uh, left and from the right, to, to, to destroy them, to, to lead them to the hellfire. Now, uh, now, today we can see whether it's on the individual basis that people, when they make mistakes, that how shaitan misguides them, so they come up with, first of all, first they try to come up with excuses for their mistakes, that why they are making the mistakes, so they have all the reasons for their mistakes to do that mistakes, so, they, so their own wrong actions start looking them right. That's one aspect of it. So th those actions could be many. It could be on an individual basis, there could be many, whether it could be people who are dealing with the riba, meaning uh, usury, or the people who are dealing with all other sorts of haram, whether it's, uh, it's that, whether it's... Uh, uh, dealing with alcohol, dealing with the businesses which they are not supposed to be involved in, we're, we're dealing with uh, mixing of the genders uh, where they are not supposed to be mixing, and so on and so forth. Now, on uh, on a larger scale, we can see the very same thing. With besides individuals, uh, we can see on the nation state, uh, nation levels also. Uh, uh, when 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 we find that uh, the people who are commanded by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala at individual level and on the level when they have the power. Both of them are commanded to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we find that how shaitan is misguiding uh, the world at large in both cases, on an individual level, to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to live the life against what Allah subhanahu wa commanded and on the, uh, on the national level, on the, uh, on the world level, where the people who have power, when they are being unjust, they are being unjust by not... Uh, ruling by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, commanded and they are coming up with all the rules and regulations from their own mind and they uh, uh, they are ruling by uh, other than what Allah has revealed so now they have been uh, they are doing the dhulm on themselves and the people they uh, they have power over so in that case also we see they people come up with all the excuses that uh, why that is okay for them to not to rule by commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's one thing. And second, then not only that, then people come up with other excuses as the shaitan did in his very first uh, uh, incident that we, we, we see between uh, uh, Adam and, and, uh, and Iblis, that how he was blaming then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now today, a lot of time people would start blaming uh, other people uh, of their own actions. So action is their own. Uh, so if they are in the power, they will start uh, blaming the people who are the one they are ruling over because they start saying that this is the way the people are hence it's okay for them to rule with, uh, over them like that or people will come up with excuses of oh the rulers are like that the way they are because the, 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 the people are bad this is a ridiculous way of looking at the things because uh, everybody is accountable for their own actions whether we are individuals the ones who have no authority, no power, and the, the one who are uh, ruled by people, and the people who have power. All of them are accountable in front of Allah subhanahu wa All of us are accountable according to the responsibility Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed over us. So when we read this ayat, we should think of from that angle also that we should not start following the footsteps of shaitan that one that we do not start uh, coming up with excuses for our mistakes number two if we do make a mistake in our lives whichever level we are at we should be going back to returning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number one and accepting our mistakes and try to rectify it try to fix it in the manner that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qul qawli haza astaghfirullah li wa alaykum wa al muslimin fa astaghfiruhu wa innahu huwa ghafurur rahim jazakumullah khairan inshallah assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah thank you for listening to this podcast podcasts on current events islamic guidance quran tafsir and seerah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. 
Rate, review, and comment, and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about IslamPodcast.com.